This next item made a lot of U.S. consumers sit up and take notice today. Bluefin tuna caught off the California coast have been found to contain elevated levels of radioactive matter dating back to the Japanese earthquake and tsunami that led to that nuclear accident at the Fukushima power plant. I'll report tonight from NBC's Miguel Almaguer. Today at the San Pedro Fish Market in Southern California, Don Cadota inspects the catch of the day and stressed his fish are safe to eat. The word radiation creates uh, fear in people. The 15 bluefin tuna caught and tested off California's coast last summer showed low levels of radiation, but still 10 times higher than normal. Scientists say it's the first time a fast-moving migrating fish has been shown to carry radioactivity from Japanese waters. We almost didn't believe it, to tell you the truth. Dr. Nicholas Fisher, professor of marine sciences, co-authored the study. Every single fish was significantly contaminated with two radioisotopes of cesium. These are common waste products from nuclear accidents. The research shows the bluefin tuna that spawn and feed in the waters near the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant migrated some 6,000 miles, reaching Southern California just a few months after the disaster. Though the sample fish are contaminated, the levels are far lower than what's considered dangerous. Today, the FDA said they'll continue to monitor radiation levels in fish, and no public health concern has been detected. I don't think that I'll change the way that I eat, not at the moment. It's definitely made me alter just a little bit, not eat quite so much. Look at the tuna jumping right there. Massive in size, up to 10 feet and weighing more than 1,000 pounds, Pacific bluefin tuna is a delicacy, often eaten as sushi around the world. Scientists say the real test on how radiation affects migrating fish will come this summer. Researchers will look at fish that have spent more time in contaminated waters and could have even higher levels of pollution. I think that is a distinct possibility, and we honestly don't know the answer. Today, Japanese officials announced they'll conduct more testing in their waters. This is researchers here do the same. Miguel Almaguer, NBC News, San Pedro, California.